so for the past uh, several years, I've been working for this company called Madison Specs, who are actually a commercial real estate servicing company, a number of different services. But the main thing I focus on is something called cost segregation, which by way of introduction, it's a tax benefit for real estate investors, specifically geared to that. So it's a very specific service. We're not an accounting firm, but it is something to do with accounting. Uh, I don't have a background in real estate. I don't have a background in accounting. I've been involved in the real estate world for only about five, six years or so now, um, both through investing. I did some brokering, did a little mortgage uh, brokering for a little while, just learning a lot from the industry. But my background is really in teaching and uh, education, and that's my passion. So the role that I play in this company is more in the business development, which essentially is just teaching because people get really confused about this subject. And it seems anything related to taxes and, and Jim, <laughs> you tell me if this is pretty accurate. Like most people's brains just shut off. They're like, oh, taxes, uh, accounting. Uh, uh, I have an accountant or something like that. Right. That's usually how the vast majority of people react, which, you know, is fair. But in real estate, there are so many tax benefits that come along with it. It's really important to be educated and to just know what's available. Yeah. So. Uh, first of all, I have to agree with you 100%. I hear these kinds of reactions from taxes. And, and is, is it's almost like it's this punitive thing. It's this thing to have fear about. And, and if we're going to be real estate investors, if we're going to be business owners, if we're going to be, um, if, if, our, if our goal is to be at the top of the wealth uh, paradigm, then then, then we have to know taxes or we have to hire somebody that knows taxes and not just filling out forms and submitting them and going, well, you owe this percentage of your income. Good luck. Just write the check. Right. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's, that's, there's a lot of CPAs out there that that's what they do and that's what they want to do because that's really simple. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to break away from the herd, i.e. this show, then you have to think differently and you have to act differently. So is in, in layman's terms and a basic overview, tell us what you're talking about. Absolutely. And I couldn't agree with you more in terms of the, just the mindset of being a business owner and entrepreneur and trying to maximize taxes in so many different regards. And this is, um, you know, this is just one of them. So I'll, a brief overview of what cost segregation is. Uh, think of it like this. If you had a, you won the lottery and it's a bad analogy because for many reasons, because like you said, taxes are not really a punitive thing. It's, it's using the tax code for your benefit. Um, but let's just use this analogy for all intents and purposes. If you win the lottery and you can have two choices, either to take a lump sum up front or to get a little bit each year, um, which would you choose? And I know there are many different uh, ways to do about this, but I'll give another analogy. If, uh, if someone offers you an interest-free loan and they say, here, would you like this interest-free loan for $100,000? And in five, five years from now or 20 years from now, you can start paying it back interest-free in small increments. So I think most people would take that. And it's even more so when that loan is actually your own money. And so that's the really important thing about taxes. Like you said, people think of it as a punitive thing. In corporate America, when your taxes are taken out of your paycheck before you even see the money that you supposedly made, that's really uh, challenging, right? Yeah. For an entrepreneur or someone who's a self-employed or someone who's a real estate investor, there's different ways to go about doing that. Real estate income, at the end of the year, you have to I, you know, figure out how much expenses you have, how many deductions you have, and then how much income is left over to pay. The goal with real estate is to get that to zero. And so literally to have zero tax liability. So cost segregation in a nutshell, I'll get to back to that question, is a form of depreciation. It's basically an advanced form of depreciation. Now, depreciation doesn't mean like it sounds, right? It sounds negative, right? Something's going down in value. And in, in fact, that's what this is based on. But I want to change everyone's paradigm on this because depreciation when it comes to real estate is a tax deduction named for the principle that things go down in value. But essentially, it's, it's really just uh, hypothetical in nature. So when you buy a property, any commercial or whether it's residential, commercial, but it's not your personal residence, any business or investment property, you get a deduction. You get literally to take the entire value of that building as a tax write-off, 
okay? That's huge. Uh, although it's over a long period of time and that's what this depreciation thing is. So it's a million dollar property. You get to now take that million dollars right up, but over a 27 and a half year period or a 39 year period. So you're getting a little bit every single year. That's called depreciation. It's based on the concept. Things go down and the building's going to go down in value. But again, it's not intrinsic because that deduction is based on your purchase price on the day that you bought it. So it starts over new for any new investor every time there's a transaction. Cost segregation is splitting up the building and the property, segregating the cost. So taking that purchase price and breaking it down into different components that things actually depreciate faster, meaning you can take the deduction of the value of those individual components at a faster rate. So for example, you have furniture or equipment or, or appliances, all that you can take the value of that as a tax deduction in over a five-year period or a one-year period, as opposed to waiting over a 27-year period and taking a little bit each year.